Welcome back. It's September, so this morning we're looking at autumnal styles that can be carried from now right through to spring. Yes, yeah, stylist Laura Jordan has stayed with us. So we looked at three looks earlier on. Stuff that we can buy now and I suppose get a bit of wear out of, Laura. Exactly, because I think it's so tempting just to buy the pieces and stockpile them. Yeah. You know, we see all the, the winter woolies in the stores. You think, oh great, I'll buy it. But you're not actually going to wear it now. So we want to look at what you can buy now and wear now and then use again the other side of, of the, the darkest part of winter, for want of a better word, as we transition into spring so it's almost like sandwich pieces that go either side of winter okay mm -hmm. and you can layer up as well let's exactly. have a look at our first look now and sarah's coming out to us so Sarah is wearing a really classic workwear piece. September, as we mentioned earlier, is synonymous with a new corporate wardrobe or new workwear wardrobe. This is Karen Millen at Littlewoods, Ireland. It is an investment piece. The tailoring is synonymous with her brand that it's really well cut. And even the way the, it kind of goes in there at the, the bust line right down, which gives a lovely focus in towards the center of the shape. And just a little bit of detail with the turn back at the collarbones as well is beautiful and, and down through it. And important to kind of to note on this, because it can be a very expensive time of year, particularly for mums, that there is deferred payment options. You know, if you think, God, I could do with a few new bits for work, but I don't want to have to shell out all of the one time. So that's kind of a, a, a good thing to keep in mind. And the pencil shape that we see coming down through the dress, a great, great shape for work. And again, even with the little knee line, which is important, you can't have anything too short going into the office. So we're just mindful of that. As it gets colder, pair with a pair of tights, jacket over it, kind of a crop style right now, and then a full length a coat when it gets cooler again. So you've got the options to layer up as you go. And if you can for the moment, keep with a new tight or bare leg until it gets cooler. It's a great shape, isn't it? Yeah, I think it'd be I lovely with the shirt as well underneath. Absolutely, exactly. yeah. Yeah. And exactly. I think it, it's a dress that probably takes a lot of boxes for people. It does indeed. And and with that as well, you know, you, you're spending so you want to make sure you get their wear out of it. Yeah. I would advise on this to maybe go a size up particularly because it is a mm. neat fit particularly if you're considering putting a shirt under it as you said it just gives a little bit more versatility it's a nice idea actually yeah and and a size up was good good to hear that and in work yeah in work you need, you need to have movement and space the last thing you want is to be sitting at a desk all day and, and feel uncomfortable feel uncomfortable particularly at the waist but again it's just cut to perfection that piece and that's what's important to keep in mind when you're buying workwear that you're going to have it for what months it's a staple it's one it of those is. things yes. you'll just reach it's for it's a work hard for mm. your dress isn't it exactly. and I think everyone needs those full back dresses completely yes yeah. you feel very confident wearing which is important our next look is slightly more casual men's this is to deal with the issue which we have a lot of what to wear when you're not in the office and you don't want to wear like sports gear so that in between time of year and also the dress coat option this is a car coat which is designed to be worn as between kind of a jumper and a, and a jacket and it's a really smart option for this all from the v by very collection by Werner brogan we've just paired it with a t-shirt underneath this comes as a double pack we've used the white one here to show off both uh, colors well just a very simple neckline granddad neckline with the three buttons down as it gets a bit cooler, you could e easily put this with a fine knit jumper or a shirt underneath it. So you've got lots of options with it too. So at the moment, it's ideal with just a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. um, again, black jeans, a staple coming into it. In fact, any time of the year, but particularly coming into the winter, these are a good price point as well. We've gone for a bag because I often find with, with men in particular, they need like a sports bag if they're mm -hmm. going to the gym after work or even traveling. And it's nice to have a non-branded option that mixes in nicely with the look as opposed to a big logoed mm. kind of very it's bright. Neat. It's smaller than the average sports bag. It's exactly. yeah. huge sometimes. So good for just going to the gym or weekend away or sports trip, etc. And it, this one is great in that it blends in with the outfit and it doesn't stand out um, as glaringly obvious that it's for the gym. And it just coordinates all that's from River Island all at, at Littlewood. It's a bit more refined isn't it mm. than exactly. your heavily branded sports bag yeah. exactly and just ties in nicely with the look and would even work with anything black even a suit if, if needed and again the shoes that we have here they're a good option that they're between a runner and a loafer so that's sort of a casual shoe that's smart and remarkably comfortable which is what you need um, for the weekends while still keeping your style points in check. I think it's the trickiest thing for lads to do I think they do work wear very well mm. I think they do sports gear casual gear very well I yeah. think it's that in between exactly. smart casual it's smart tricky casual. isn't it yeah so you've yeah. got this more casual, as you said, and then you've got the, the season transition. This end of wearing well. a t-shirt. Yes, um, you've got. There's then the throw a jumper on, yeah. and then their their winter coat. Yes, so you've got a kind of a good mid-range kind of in terms of price point and in terms of season there, just okay. to kind of get over the hump into the winter time. And finally, we've got Shona. So. Florals and general print, huge trend coming into autumn winter. And for this dress, we've gone a little bit more casual as opposed to the dress we saw a moment ago. 
When you're buying floral or any kind of print that you want to wear through to the winter time, it's important to keep two things in mind. The first one is that the sleeve length is below the elbow so that it can work for winter time. The second is that there's a base color of black in the dress as you see here, because that means you can wear it with a black coat over it and with black tights. Mm. So if you're buying florals, they're a huge trend or any kind of print, this is more like a heart shape on this one. Just keep that in mind because it means it can be worn a lot more easily when you've got those two things in those boxes ticked for want of a better word. This is nicely cut, it's comfortable, it's cut in at the waist and just flows down gently right below the knee. A little bit of detail on the sleeve as well with the little kind of arm and then a fluted sleeve again. It's a nice trend. extra detail, isn't it? Exactly. So you're mixing together the trends that you have coming in with the staple cut and shape and the bag again, that's be by very a good handy one to have. It'll go with lots of pieces. It's almost got a light pink tone to that neutral. And and it matches well here, but could be ideally worn for work also. Um, and our shoes that we have, we've gone for a nude shoe because, as we often see with nude in the summertime, they're very popular. For the winter, a dark nude can work well. This is almost like a rose gold nude. It's a dusty pink color. Mm -hmm. So just be careful that you go for a, a darker nude coming into the winter. And again, Peyton, so they can wipe and wear in your set if they get oh, dirty. Brilliant. Great Gorgeous. tips as always. Thank you very much, Laura, for coming Thanks, in and girl. joining us this morning. Thank, Thank you. you, Laura.